a great supporter of Mo Farah. Since 2011, Mo Farah has ruled the 5,000 meters at major championships. And on the penultimate day of the London edition, he was looking to end a glorious track career on a high. The perfect end wasn't to be, however. Ethiopia's Mukta Idris clocked 13 minutes 32.79 seconds to win his first global title. Farah was second ahead of American Paul Chelimo. I am so happy I cannot put into words how I feel. We have fulfilled our dream and this was a message from Ethiopia and East Africa that Farah can be beaten. I'm disappointed uh, not to win, to come out. It would have been nice to win. Playing athletics, everything, anything is possible. Today, better man won on a day and then there's nothing I could have done. I did my best, I tried my best. Uh, the Ethiopian had the game plan and they figured out a way to beat me and it worked. The 34-year-old changed the face of long-distance track events. The 5,000 meters and 10,000 meters were often seen as a preserve of Kenyans and Ethiopians. The Britons' dominance over the last six years left the East Africans as searching for a winning formula, but at the same time inspiring his rivals. We all thought that he will finish his track career before we beat him, and so I am glad to be the first one who got to win. This is why I did the more for a sign when I finished the race as a tribute to him, because he is a great athlete and now I want to be dominant like him. Earlier in the competition, Farah won his third 10,000 meter world title, holding off yet another East African challenge in what was his final 25-lap race of his career. Idris breaks down the tactics he used in the 5,000 meters. In the 10,000 meters race, Uganda and Kenyan runners tried to make the race fast so that Mo Farah can get tired, but that is not how to beat Mo Farah because he has good endurance. Today I knew I had very good kick, so I was very happy with the slow race and just waited for the right moment to sprint. Still, Farah ends his track career as the most successful long-distance athlete, having won nine gold medals in the Olympics and World Championships to Ethiopia's Kerenisa Bekele's tally of eight. Well, Mo Farah may be leaving the track, but his career isn't done just yet. He now moves over to road running, where athletics fans can expect even more fireworks between him and the East Africans who have set themselves as the dominant force in that area. Celestine Carone, CGTN in London.